Want to learn the secrets to quickly create shapes in Adobe Illustrator? You definitely want to keep watching this video. Hey guys, it's June from Illustrator How. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Pathfinder tools in Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so let me show you how the Pathfinder tool works in Adobe Illustrator. So you can open a Pathfinder panel from the overhead menu window and choose Pathfinder. So here's what the Pathfinder panel looks like. Usually I don't open a panel since um, I don't like to have a bunch of panels open because it makes my workspace a little bit messy. So if you don't want to open a panel, have the panel hang out there, you can go ahead and select the objects that you want to combine or merge or cut. What I mean is you, you can select the objects, overlapping object, remember object must be overlapping. And then when the objects are selected, you will see the Pathfinder panel actually underneath the, the properties panel. And as you can see, there are only four options here. So if you want to um, see more options, you can click on the more options menu. It's going to show you the full Pathfinder uh, panel. Okay, so I'm going to go over the option one by one. The first option, Unite, is super useful for um, merging or combining shape. So if you click Unite, it's going to merge the two shapes together. All right, I'm just going to use the Pathfinder panel so then um, it's easier to see it right here. All right, and the second option is Minus Front. It's going to cut the shape. If you click on Minus Front, it's going to cut the shape in front. The third option is Intersect. If you choose this option, it's going to create a combined shape um, in the intersect area. So as you can see, only the intersecting area here, it was showed and it cut both area on the side. And then we have the exclude option, which is the opposite as intersect. Instead of showing only the intersecting area, it's going to show the areas that are not intersected. So if you click on that, it's going to cut the intersecting part of the shape. Moving on, we have the divide option. If you click on divide, it's going to obviously divide the shapes. And if you want to move the shapes around, you can ungroup and move around the shape or you can change color of uh, individual parts. Okay, and then we have merge. Merge is a little bit similar as Unite. However, it keeps kind of the borderline there. So um, when you click Unite, you can see that both shapes, they are united into one shape. However, when you click Merge, you only merge the intersecting area and it becomes two shape. And then you can choose a crop option. As you can see, it crops out all the shape except the overlapping area and, um, and it reserves the color of the, the shape that was uh, in the bottom. Okay, I know it's a lot of information, but we are almost there. Uh, the next Pathfinder option is the outline option. If you click on that, it's going to obviously show the outline of the two shapes. You can um, just ungroup them and edit them separately. And then finally, we have minus back, which is the opposite as minus font. If you click on that, it's going to uh, remove the object that's showing in the bottom or in the back. Okay, so no matter which method you choose, you can always use the ungroup option to edit the shape and parts or parts uh, individually. Yeah, I just show you the example of divide, right? So, okay, I'm going to show you another example. Um, let's say this uh, exclude. In this case, I can also ungroup it and then edit each part. Let's say you can uh, just edit the shape, change the color, for example. Yeah. All right, let's say that we want to make a moon. You can move that maybe a little bit smaller. And then, for example, I want to make a moon like this. So I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose minus front. As you can see, you quickly make a moon shape. So you don't have to use a pen tool to create a, a shape like this from scratch. And it's really, really fast. And also, let's say that you want to make an arrow. So all you need to do is to create a kind of a rectangle and then a triangle a little bit bigger i'm going to delete this ink point and all you need to do is hit obviously unite and you get an arrow shape so here's a quick overview of what each pathfinder option creates 
All right, so if you are still a little bit confused about um, how to use a Pathfinder tool in Adobe Illustrator or what is the Pathfinder tool, I do have an article talking about each options in great details. And um, yeah, you might learn more about it from this article. So I'm going to include the link of the article in the description below. And also, if you're interested to learn more about Adobe Illustrator, I do have a course for absolute beginners. So I will also include a link in the description below. OK, so you can use a Pathfinder tool in Adobe Illustrator to create new shape, to cut out a shape or to combine shapes anything you can think of. So if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give me a thumb up and hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my future tutorials.